morning. Welcome everybody to the morning of uh, volatility report. As I, Andrew Giovinazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPit.com, welcoming you to our morning vol report. So this is our new membership website. Um, as we're working on it, but gold, platinum, professional. But the idea is hopefully here. Uh, let's see. Ah, schedule uh, new content. Um, our gold course, our archives, stuff like that. Uh, is all here grabbing you know literally tons of content so the idea was to get all of our content in a more accessible area so uh, any subject really you want to find uh, we're gonna have it for you in um, in our gold course so you have a bunch of access to videos uh, simpler access to videos we used to have it but now it's all going to be much easier so Vol vol trading, all of the um, all of the position structuring that we teach at Option Pit is going to be available to you uh, in our course, but also being able to see the videos and understand what's going on. So it is a. I just have to say, it's cool. It's uh, getting the the bugs are getting out and things are moving along. So all of that is a good thing. Uh, Let's get on to a couple things in the market. Um, real simply, I'm looking at just two things. Uh, you have a future now at 1750. It's had a little range today, but not much for the March future. Um, the NDX has had a huge range, probably what, 50 or 50 points today at least. The SPX, on the other hand, has had. A little bit less of a range, only about 10 handles. So, if you're looking for vol to go up, we need to see the SPX have more of a range. If you're looking for VIX to go down, we need to have a little less. Right now, we have around 18 and a half over 17 and a half. So, we have about a dollar to go. So, really, what we're looking for the, for the first time in a couple of weeks is just this future curve to get flat to the cash. And we're getting there. Right now, this you look at this and it looks like, oh, we'll never get there, never get there, never get there. Um, but it can start sneaking. This one point uh, can move pretty fast, actually. Um, and the big question is whether the market just takes the ball out today. If you kind of see that, I want to look for maybe upside butterfly trades um, in the indexes, maybe in the banks. Anything along those lines where we can, you can look for some cheap upside. Um, I'll also be looking at some vol newsletter pairs uh, today. It's another uh, feature if you want to subscribe to that at Option Pit, where you just kind of stick with vol trades and pair trades for people that are interested in learning about that. Because um, now you're starting to have some interesting things happen. The pull on the structure is still upward, though, right? So, well, I'll just say is. Um, VIX, VIX calls, VIX call spreads, things like that are still relatively inexpensive to the kind of moves I think we could still have in volatility. Um, so that's some of the stuff we'll look at today in the chat room, but also upside, like upside call flies, ways to get kind of this upside for cheap uh, and potentially hedge the vol exposure. So that that's what I'm looking for. Um, and really one of the biggest signals is when this, if this cash can really drift uh, anywhere into the futures here in the short term. Because um, at this point, all the really short-term futures, right, are looking right at 1879. So you've got the pull up in the short term, but it hasn't hit the, you know, what I'll call the normal end of the curve just quite yet. So it won't take much for us to drop into some sort of um, uh, what I'll call just a normal curve right now, still backward. And I think we're waiting to see what happens uh, with the market overall. Um, but uh, no bad news right now, besides just, you know maybe bad headline news, but no bad economic news. And it looks like some of what happened is shaken out. Uh, some things that we will also look at today in our uh, – uh, it's, it's hard to believe, but now you can start looking at some of these type of trades like SVXY, uh, some of the other vol products. Because they already got totally massacred, right? Um, this is one that could be done, but starting to look at, you know, what happens if Vol makes a move back, what will start happening to some of these products? 
Um, so those are some of the stuff we'll look at today. And uh, I'll be doing a Vol newsletter update uh, to be recorded at 4 after the close today. Uh, but uh, join us in our chat room. Mark should be in there around. Um, I will give you a time here, I believe. Uh, 10.15 Central, so 11.15 Eastern, so in about 45 minutes. Um, all right, and with that, I will see. Uh, it, I think we're going to have one of those days where the market just kind of rests and kind of glides around a little bit after two weeks of what I would just say is pretty heavy action. All right, everybody, have a good day, and I will talk to you later.